Alrighty, so today I'm going to be smoking the uh, Lucky Strike uh, filters. Uh, these pa this pack is from Iceland, uh, so it's got the uh, cool little uh, everything on it from Iceland. The safety stuff, got a little bit on the side there, and everything. So I uh, thought I'd light up one of these, I've smoked a few of these, and they uh, are pretty damn good if I'm honest. Um, so I'll go ahead and light it up and then I'll review it. Lots of nicotine, lots of nicotine, very much. I don't know if this is the uh, European standard or the uh, American standard for um, like the tobacco. I know full flavored cigarettes in Europe have a little bit less tobacco than in North America, or at least that's what I've heard. Um, but I'm pretty sure these are the Europe standard, but they taste a lot like um, Marlboro Red, but the nicotine content seems to be more like Camel Blues or like Marlboro, um, Marlboro Golds. Uh, so they seem to be more of like a, a middle cigarette, not really a light cigarette kind of thing, which I consider the Camel Blue to be a middle cigarette, so. It doesn't burn too fast, which is nice. It's also got uh, that little emblem right there. I don't know if you can read it, but it's a, a circle with a lucky strike in the middle. Uh, very classic artwork, uh, very different from like what uh, Marlboro does. Um, tastes fantastic. Uh, I'm not really getting any taste of like chemicals or anything like that, like you get with a, uh, a Marlboro Red. Uh, I don't like Marlboro Reds because they taste very chemically. Um, which I've said in another video where I smoked this cigarette, um, but that was less of a review and more of a uh, ASMR video. Actually, scratch that. It burns pretty fast, but I'm not really one to complain. I like this cigarette a lot. Uh, definitely, actually, Yeah, it's still got about the same amount of nicotine from right off the bat, but, uh... This reminds me a lot of a, uh, camel, but I said it's more comparative to, um, I guess a camel, uh, filter, or a, uh, Marlboro Red. Uh, it tastes more like a camel, though. Which is why I like. These would be, um, my daily drivers if they were sold in the U.S., but they're not. Only the non-filters are sold in the U.S., and those are pretty hard to come by. And I'm not one for non-filters myself. If I want a non-filter, I'll smoke something else. Beautiful day out. It's a little bit windy. Hopefully you can hear me all right. The wind's picking up a little bit. Uh, it rained. It actually stormed earlier. Lots of lightning and thunder, but beautiful now. 80 degree weather. Really can't complain. There it is. Definitely going to pick that up. So it's almost gone. As you can see, the filter uh, is almost there. The filter is... Uh, just the style of, uh, just the classic, eh, the classic, uh, cork style, uh, and you can see it burning right there, Let's see if it wants to focus on it, oh, oh. nope, it does not want to focus on it, uh, but that's the, uh, filter right there, see a little bit of perforation, see I've taken hits from, uh, Nick the Smoker, great content, highly recommend,
And that's going to be about it for this cigarette. Uh, if you'd like to see more of my content, uh, you can follow me at uh, Jacob Fucking Jones on Instagram. Uh, and I've got my TikTok link below. And uh, make sure to like and subscribe for more uh, content on the YouTube channel. Uh, so have a good one.